Hello, hello. Let's see. Are we having a great day or what? All these amazing products, amazing projects, and amazing stockists. What great ideas. Let me, I'm gonna have to get out and then back in. And hopefully, hopefully I can find myself and we can actually read comments. Always a good day when we can do that. Okay, I'm a little cut off, but that's okay. We're good. So welcome, welcome everybody. I am Susan with The Withered Barn and hopefully you've been watching all the great uh, previous retirement releases. Uh, Who do we have? We started off with LNJ Goods with the Be Thou Large. Um, then we had Vintage Retail Therapy with the Bohemian Border. We had, um, I've got it right here, the IOD Sisters came on and they did the cute little stacked display of the small Be Thou Vision. Uh, Elsie Lane Boutique with the Sea Queen Large, Vintage Bandits with Winter Song, and Funkature with Farm Farmer's Market. And what I'm going to be showing you is the Sea Queen Small. So I've been a stockist for almost three years and I've put these on everything from mirrors to furniture to signs, all of it. And my favorite by far is kind of a, a faux mirrored frame and everybody loves it when they come in. It's got beautiful colors, very mermaidish, um, but without looking cartoonish and, it's, and it turns out so great. And so that's the project I wanted to choose to show you guys. And this is a project you can do Find a frame, and we're gonna do dad it up, and you guys will love it. So I am gonna have to move the camera down so you guys can see really good. Let me move this down a little bit. Right there. Let me move this over so we can see what we're doing. I cannot see comments, so I apologize. I don't know why, but Okay, I think I got it now. I've got two different, a tablet and something else going. But let's get this Sea Queen open and get this party started, right? Now, any of the um, retirement transfers, go to your local IOD stockist. And to find that, you can go to the IOD website. Woo, this one's on there. To the IOD website and click on find a retailer. You can search for online and you can search for a brick and mortar. Oh, my scissors aren't sharp enough. A brick and mortar so you can walk in and check out all the transfers. Just a tip though, when these transfers are gone, they're gone. Hence retirement. And I'm sure, man, I can't get this one open. Let me grab my razor blade just a second. It never fails. I miss putting something on my table, right? So let me put this down just a little more so you guys can see the entire project. Okay. Let me use the razor and cut this one open. There we go. We're gonna set that aside for just a moment. Let me tell you about my frame. Got my frame. Um, I had a workshop. Went to the craft store to, to check out frames and pricing and all that. And lo and behold, they had some on clearance. And when I mean clearance, I mean like five bucks. So I was able to grab this frame for five bucks. You can't buy wall art for the price of putting this together. All I'm doing is taking out my backer board and I'm gonna use this sheet that it comes with. So I don't need any other supplies. My sequin, my frame, and I'm gonna use a little bit of paint. 
and I'll show you guys how easy this is. So I already painted this with um, just a white chalk paint, just really quickly and just back and forth, no, uh, no particular direction, nothing, just to get a quick coat on there. That's all I did. Now what I'm going to do for this one, I'm gonna take a little bottle of water. That's just plain bottled water in there. And I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna use a popsicle stick. Well, no, I think it'll pour. I'm just gonna pour a little tiny bit of gold metallic in my water. I've got a brush handy just in case I get any globby spots. Put my lid back on and I'm gonna shake it up because I don't want this to have a ton of color on here. We're gonna put all our color on the glass with our mermaid. Okay, let me prime that real quick. There we go. So I'm gonna hold it at one end and I'm gonna really heavily put it at this end. I'm gonna spray it. Just like that. And I want it just to be very uneven and I'm gonna let it drip. And there's a reason I do it this way. It's so I get kind of this natural drippy flow for my sea queen to go on there. So I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna work on that mirror. That looks like a big old mess, don't it? It won't when we're done. I have been doing quite a few um, framed wall arts right now. We wipe this up real quick and we're going to move over to our glass. Hi Linda! Just wipe that up. Hi Valerie! Yes, those razors are a lifesaver. Those are from Wally World and it has a little edge so you can slide a new one in there. Super, super easy. Well, hopefully, this will dry pretty quickly. I'm going to move it away from me so it's not too loud. Okay. I'll turn that off in just a second. We're done with this gold. Now I'm just going to use some plain old acrylic paint from the Hobbly Lobbly. And I've kind of chosen, of course, some mermaid colors. Got a little brush here. I've got my water. And I am missing my plastic. I've got some right here. Yep. And a little piece of plastic. If you've watched my lives before, I use this to daub. So instead of using our looking glass spray to kind of antique our glass, I'm going to use a little bit of gold. And we're going to wad our plastic up. Usually a grocery bag works the best, but any plastic will work. Just into a little ball, and I'm just going to daub it back and forth. Hello, everyone. Thank you guys for joining. I'm so excited to see what the future brings with new designs. So I'm just randomly daubing this gold. When you're working on the glass, just be careful how hard you push. And the older the glass, the more delicate you need to be. 
that looks good. Now I'm going to take this one, this is just teal, and I'm going to do the same thing. So instead of that aged mirror look, we're going to kind of get some color in here. And you don't want to use a brush because you don't want to see strokes. I'm going to add a tiny bit of green. Or actually, this isn't green. This is aquamarine. And I just use my popsicle stick for everything. Okay, I'm going to turn this blow dryer off. There we go. Okay, so we've got our second two colors on there. And the idea is everywhere where my plastic has lifted off the gold, the blue will now shine through. And I'll flip the, the glass over and show you. See, I'm sure you guys can kind of see how that's looking. Of want it to look patinaed. It's kind of a faux patina. Okay, that looks pretty good. And that's all I'm going to do with it. So you guys can see on the other side. Can you see how that looks? And our sea queen's going to sit in that. So I'm going to set this aside for a second. We're going to grab our paper that we already started with. Let me give it one more hit because I don't want it to be wet when I put my transfer on. Hi, Faye. Faye, you gotta catch the replay. Hi, Suzanne. Have you guys all been watching from the start? Okay, everything's dry and it does look crinkly and I'm good with that. That's what I like. If you're, you've got an old picture frame sitting around you want to do this on but you don't have your paper insert anymore, you can do the same exact thing on your backer board as long as you don't got the little prongs in there. Same exact steps. So now I'm going to get my sequin transfer. And she's exactly like the large one. This one is 11 by 17. The large one, um, I think it was Elsie Lane Boutique, had um, demonstrated that one. And that size is uh, 24 by 36. I have to make sure here. Yep, 20, 24 by 33. Okay. So I'm going to just take this off. Careful not to touch the back because it does have that little tiny residue on there and instead of this dripping down i'm gonna have it go upwards kind of like a hint of coral growing up so i'm going to center this look how perfect it fits on the page slide it down just a little more and right there and these handy dandy grids make it so easy to center I'm actually going to put it back on this board because my table's not flat. Put this in the trash. Get my applicator tool. I'm just going to start applying it to my paper. And you can do your paper whatever color you want. But I wanted my glass to stand out, and then I, we're going we're gonna to do some special sparkles all in here as well. Let me get an edge started here, and then I can do my little fold and get my air bubble going. 
Now you can see, see how this is very opaque looking? It's because it's already adhered to my back. So right here it has not, this has adhered to my back already. So I'm gonna give it a little fold and it's gonna create that little air bubble up under there. And I can just move a little quicker. I'm gonna tell you guys, my favorite project of the day for the retirement party is um, the one the IOD sisters did. Wasn't that great? I love the contrast of black and white, love it. I think it was a great idea. I always think in terms of gifts. And that would be a beautiful gift. I would love to give that gift. Okay, this is coming off really easy, guys. You guys ever really looked at the detail at the Sea Queen? It is beautiful. The sisters really paid attention to everything. Oh, now you can see Suzanne what was wrong I know my internet's been really wonky um, my screen looks like it's scrambled sometimes on my end but everybody else can see it fine I don't know if that's the kind of internet I've got because we are rural or if it's Facebook or what A little stubborn piece right there. Okay. You know those um, little miniature whiskey barrels? I've always pictured this on one of those, and I have not found one. But that's something that was always on my list when I look at different places for inspiration and projects and things like that. And I just never came across one. Oh, Gina, you're gonna have to go back through and watch everything if you missed them. Hi, Joni. only getting half a screen oh I do that all the time I get a half a screen and I don't know what is the problem words are a little trickier I'm almost done getting this one on to make sure I got everything before I fold it over. There we go. Doesn't look like my tea wants to come off, guys. I'm gonna work the other direction and see if it helps. Sometimes going a different direction helps, sometimes it doesn't. But my tea is being stubborn. I'm 
Nope, it's not gonna come off, guys. So we're gonna have to fudge it. I'm wondering if it was a little wet still down there. And that could be, but that's okay. I totally know how to fudge it. One more time and try it. Nope, it's not. But it still looks great. It looks great. So, doesn't that look good? So, watch when. Grab the frame. Now what I want to do is, let me see if I can paint upside down. I'm actually going to be using some of this iridescent paint and some touches of this pink metallic, which is tourmaline, and some of this dark blue, which is sapphire. Those are the two I'm going to use. I got me a little small paintbrush. I'm just going to wet it. And I'm going to very light, put just a tiny, tiny bit on my um, brush. And I'm going to take it and just pull it, kind of like a watercolor. Don't want it oversaturated, I just want a hint of color. That looks good. And just a couple other areas. Okay, I like that. So that's my blue. Now I've got my pink. And again, it's a pink metallic. And you can paint it in as much as you like or as little as you like. So I'm gonna do her hair. And you guys probably can't see the metallic in this, but there's just enough to get a little bit of a sheen on there. A little bit more. And I'm just kind of going the, the direction of her hair. Like that. And then we've got a little tiny bit over here. There. So I've got just a hint of color in there. That's what I like. If you wanted to color in the entire thing, you could. So I'm gonna hit this with the blow dryer and we're gonna stick it in our frame. I'll show you how I fix this in just a second. I think it was too wet, guys. So do I have my... Here's this. And so we're going to fix our little boo-boo right there. Let me grab my black. And we're just going to touch that up. If I was distressing this and it was on furniture, I probably would just sand right there. But since it's part of this word, I'm going to 
see if I can get it touched up. I am by no means an artist at all. the top of my tea just a little more. some pink on this too. I think I do. Let's wad some pink on there, shall we? Grab my plastic again and popsicle stick. I want to bring some of that pink into this. Not a lot, just a little. There. These metallic paints, they dry super quick. And this is completely a project the kiddos can do. amount of color. Okay, let me wipe this center because I've got fingerprints and then put that, put our sea queen in there. I think I got a little too much there. There. Okay. Let me grab that up. I got a wet spot right there. I love it. So now I have to see front or bottom. I think this is going to be my top. So I'm going to put my sea queen back in here along with my back. I'm going to fold my little prongs back. Are you guys ready for this reveal? All together. Ready? Uh, isn't that pretty? You get your colors in here. We got just a hint of color on our sea queen. I love it. It's beautiful. So I hope we've inspired you all today to be creative with your home decor. Be sure to check for your closest stockist for any of the retired designs and all of the new designs. And let's see, up next is um, Girl Up Cycled. So be sure to stay tuned and give her a shout out. And thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Bye.